It's because I don't like, I don't like black girls and I don't like white girls and I, I don't like any women who aren't Korean. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? What's up, guys? It's your boy, Quincy Megas, and today I'm here with a Q&A. So I asked, you know, some people who follow me on the Instagram to send me some questions, and I'm gonna answer them, I guess. That's what this is, so let's get straight into it. Uh, the first question says, why in your skits you only... Okay, so basically, why do you only involve Korean girls in your skits? <gasps> Quincy Megas hates black girls and white girls and, and other girls who aren't Korean? Yeah, it's because I don't like black girls and I don't like white girls and I, I don't like any women who aren't Korean. I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. I'm joking, obviously. Come on. Um, so the main reason is that Ooh. I live in Korea. So the majority of the women that I bump into are Korean. So that's the main reason. But actually the second reason is something really, really odd, okay? And a friend and I were actually talking about this the other day. A lot of the times when I bump into other foreigners in Korea, especially girls, they're always super bougie for some reason. I don't know why, don't attack me if you are a foreign girl in Korea, but for some reason, Every time I ask a foreign girl to make some content with me, they're always super bougie. But every time I ask a Korean girl, they're like, oh, that sounds pretty cool. Let's make some content. The main reason is that I live in Korea. Obviously, there are Korean women everywhere. Everywhere. Korean women everywhere. How do Korean girls' lips taste like? Uh, they taste like normal lips or they taste like whatever lipstick she's wearing or whatever lip gloss she's wearing or whatever she ate or drank uh, in some cases so yeah they they taste like lips i guess <laughs> why did i do this how many chickens would it take to kill an elephant how many chickens would it take to kill an elephant is that a riddle It must be some kind of riddle. How many chickens would it take to kill an elephant? Many, 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 many chickens. What is the most trouble you got in at school? <laughs> the most trouble I got into in school was, I remember this very vividly. Um, this was in the seventh grade and um, Basically, we had this homework assignment to do where we basically had to take pictures from a magazine and cut them out and like paste them in the book, you know, like a collage sort of thing. So I didn't do the homework. <laughs> ah, this is so bad. Um, and then there was this boy in class whose name was James. I still remember his name. And he was like the teacher's pet, really, really smart kid. And yeah, he had obviously done the homework. So. What I did, being a Quincy, the genius, because I wasn't Quincy Megas back then, I was just Quincy. Um, I sat behind James and his bag was on his chair with all his books in there. So the teacher was going around, <laughs> this is so bad. Why am I telling you guys this? The teacher was going around the class. She's going around the class, checking the homework. Like, did you do your homework? I'm like, shit, I didn't do my homework. And I need two more demerits. If I get two more demerits, that's, it's over for me. Two more demerits and it's detention. So I'm like, I can't, I can't afford to get another demerit. So what I did is while James obviously wasn't looking, <laughs> ah, I, um, I pulled James's book <laughs> out of his bag. <laughs> Damn it. I pulled James's book out of his bag. I went to the page with the homework and I took the pictures out and I glued them to my book quickly and I wrote some nonsense quickly and I put James's book <laughs> back in. <laughs> I put James's book back in his bag and yeah, the teacher came around and she was like, Quincy, where's your homework? And I, you know, took the book out and I was like, here. And she was like, mm, uh, okay. Uh, because obviously it was very like, you know, it just looked like a, a very rough draft, but I had done the homework. So she wasn't satisfied, but she was like, mm, 
ah, okay, right? And then she goes to James and she's like, James, where's your homework? You know, and again, to reiterate, James was the teacher's pet, so she had no doubt. There was no doubt in this woman's mind that James had done the homework. And obviously there was no doubt in James's mind because he had done the homework. And so <laughs> James pulls his book out of his bag. He's like, yes, ma'am. And he opens the book to the page with the homework. He opens the book to the page with the homework. And there's nothing. Just silence. There's nothing. The teacher's like, uh, uh. James? Where's your homework? James is like paging through his book. <laughs> this is James. I did it! I did my homework! And yeah, so that's the worst thing <laughs> that I did in school. James, if you're watching, I know you're not, but I'm sorry, dog. I mean, I'm sorry, man. What more can I say? What's it like having a real life waifu you want in life, man? A real life waifu, huh? Mm. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm ah, I said I'd answer every question, so I can't just leave this one there. It's good. Do I have a waifu though? Comment down below. Do you think I have a waifu? Comment down below. Let me know. I want to know what you guys think. Do I have a real life waifu? Would you rather choose unlimited money and no love or find a true love and be broke? <sighs> if I find, if I, okay, ah, Ah, mosquito, sorry. <laughs> um, look, if, if I have unlimited money, but don't find true love, it means I can still be happy because although relationships and like romantic love is a part of life and it's like an important aspect of life, but it's not the only way that you can be happy, you know? You can still have other things that make you happy. There are people who are like, who, who knows if like, uh, I don't know, who knows if Rihanna has found true love yet, you know, because she's dated a couple of guys. I know she's with ASAP right now, at least I think she's still with ASAP, but, you know, we don't know if that's true love or not. So she's been successful and happy. So I would rather, instead of dooming myself to be broke forever, I guess I'll choose the money. If you'd come back to SA, would you let me lick your chin? Wait, I need to make sure this question says what I think it says. If you'd come back to SA, would you let me lick your chin? Well, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Do you want to lick my chin? <laughs> Why do you want to lick my chin? Why would you want to lick my chin? <laughs> Why? Why do you want to lick my chin is my question for you. So if you're watching this video, please comment down below and let me know. If paid with $5 million, would you leave everything you accomplished so far for a new beginning and the answer is maybe i guess i would it depends what is the new beginning what is this mystery new beginning that we're talking about because depending on what it is i mean five million dollars is a lot of money so again give me the cash money money money, 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 money. do you love music yes next pick song rate huh what do you want to do before the world ends many 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 things and that's your video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still here at the end, please hit that like button. If you're new, hit that subscribe button because I post two new videos every week, Thursday and Sunday. And yeah, I just do a bunch of random stuff, music, vlogs, everything under the sun. I'm basically just here to be your entertainment servant. So please do hit that like button, subscribe, post notifications, do all of that. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.